Hey everybody, welcome back, Falcon, Timber, and Stone. Let's get the game going on over here. We have a lot of things happening right now. These guys are going back to sleep. I, as you can see, it says my game is saved. I took a little break between my recording session today. It's going to probably be my fifth episode recorded today, so just keep that as a heads up over here. I thought you guys were sleeping though, weren't you? Yeah, you're pretty fatigued, dog. Go take a rest if you can. I'm pretty sure I have everybody set up to sleep uh, based on fatigue, so... I guess because I reloaded the game, they all woke up and they're going to work, but they should be going back to sleep really soon after they do probably one task over here. Because they didn't need to rest. They are kind of a little bit tired. And that needs to happen. Merchant's over here leaving. Catch you later, dog. I'm, I'm not too friendly with this guy. I like this other friend better, but this guy over here, I, I'm, I'm assuming it's not the same guy that we see all the time, though, is there? I mean, I imagine it kind of works out like they're like a, a band of traveling merchants that they all look the same. You know, but they're all like different people. But I mean, it could be the same person over and over too, so maybe I shouldn't be too upset about his last trade with us. But either way, fuck you, dog. <laughs> anyway, let's go back into the game here. Um, hey, I don't want you to move there. My bad. <laughs> I was insulting the merchant. You're free to go wherever you need to go, which is probably to go to sleep. Yeah, there he goes. Alrighty, so in overall, how are we doing over here? Take a little quick look as to what we're doing. Re Off camera, I also had a lot of these uh, minecarts placed over here so this guy could level up. I guess meanwhile we could do is actually deconstruct the ones that are built because, um, you know, we don't really lose anything from doing that. And it's been a great way to level up my blacksmith recently, so I'm really happy that I kind of found this little... Not sure if it's an exploit, but more of a tactic to level them up, because otherwise, you know, blacksmith just takes quite a while to level up. Now, what we're trying to do is with, um, R. Kelly 5 over here, so you actually get him up to level 8. Which he's not too far of, he's like, you know, halfway through 7. At level 8, I'm pretty sure a few more... I guess, um, weapons open up to him. That's the reason why we do have eight, well, we have six ingots now, but we had, like, we actually have a lot of copper ore, too, don't we? As a matter of fact, dog, if you want, meanwhile, what you could do is actually go to process materials, and you could maybe make us a few more of these because we have 18, so we can make actually nine more. So let's go and do nine cued. You could probably make nine more ingots for us, and that could be really beneficial. Now, are you going to do that now, or are you going to do that later? It seems you're really... A, you're really obsessed with these cards, aren't you? <laughs> it's like, can't stop right now. Making cards. Don't stop me, Falcon. All right, I'm not going to stop you. We found some more copper over here, which is actually pretty good. So let me go into mining as well. How is our little staircase kind of working out here? Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Now, what's our next level that we need to uh, mine out over here? Well, I actually already have it set up, too. And that should be kind of getting done at some point or another. Our wood supply is at 165, so that's looking pretty good. We have 160 tim timber. Um, stone is actually kind of low. Remember, we sold like around 500 of it. We're trying to build our wall with stone, so we do have to take that into consideration. It's going to cost us a bit more stone to get everything up and running over here. So, I, I hope that my miners actually get to work pretty soon in terms of uh, mining away here a little bit more often. We have homeboy over here just standing around. Though. Who is this, Mark Solar? Or oh, you're the stonemason. Are you done with the... You are. Okay, so you could go back to mining and give us a hand over there because our stone is actually running pretty low, my friend, so... Go back to mining. You're done making the tools that we needed. Thank you for that. Are you going to be resting anytime soon? You are. So really, really soon he's going to actually go back to resting, so there is that. Not too happy about it, but so be it. Let's forward time and let's speed it up a little bit here, just so that we have some things happening in the background. Um, You guys over here are chopping down trees still. Really ideal. <clears throat> what I'm actually worried about, too, is any more skeletons. And we have so far evaded any big monstrosities. And by the, what I mean by that is that people have been letting me know in the comments that there is some actual scary, scary beast out there. I haven't run into the Necromancer yet. That's actually the only enemies I know of. I know about the Necromancer and I know about the spiders and the skeletons. I don't know anything beyond that. I still haven't run into my first Necromancer. I'm scared about that, number one. But then I'm also scared about what people told me about being like, hey Falcon, there's actually more scarier things out there. And I hope that, you know, we're actually ready for it. I, I kind of want to have my infantry units at some point or another actually train over here, but right now we're kind of stretched a little bit thin in terms of our resources and things that we're doing over here. So that's going to have to wait, but I would love to just get a little bit of training exercises at some point or another. But again, it also depends on, you know, just getting more people in here. And speaking of more people, we still haven't run into, hey, what the fuck happened with this wall over here? Hey, no, 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 that's not how that's supposed to work out. One second, that I no here we here we go. So there was a little bit of an error here. I forgot to erase this part of the the wall at some point. Let me go into construction walls. Let me yeah sure. 
let me go ahead and cancel this out over here. Not all of it, just this. And then if you don't mind, can we actually deconstruct this? We don't need this over here. Don't know how to deconstruct that. <laughs> how do you deconstruct that? Do you just, um, construction, walls, maybe it's the same way? No. How do you get rid of that? Hmm. I'm not entirely sure how to get rid of a, a pre-made wall. That's really interesting. Do I just mine it, babe? Oh, you know what? I'd probably just mine it. Yeah. It'd probably be the same thing, right? Can I get one of you miners to get rid of that wall really quickly? It's just bothering me that it's there right now. Mark Solar, come over here, dog. No, no. You can mine everything else later on. Come over here really quickly. Get rid of this um little uh, pain in the ass wall for me here. I mean, I'm OCD about things. Not a lot of things, but some things. That's one of the things right there that I'm kind of really not feeling too much, though. I mean, considering my wall is kind of like this really weird... I'm not even sure what to call this. You know you know the Great Wall of China? This is like the terrible Wall of Falcon. It's kind of like the bizarre world of walls over here. But at least that's actually taken care of now. And let's make sure that the walls are set up. Oh, see? We don't actually have the walls going all the way up on that one. So thank you for that, Mark. Let me go really quickly here and do a construction. We'll go into walls and we'll do another field stone. And you need to go up one level and then to the side. Good. And that's three. Oh, God. See, I did it again. <laughs> I did it again. Let's see. Nope. Not the whole thing. Just partial. Partial thing. And then we want to go over here. One, two, three. And th is that it? There you go. We got it now. Okay. <laughs> Crisis averted. All right. It's a, I don't know. I'm, I'm not too crazy about the whole elevation thing. Like, I... I'm, on, I'm not crazy about it because I don't do it correctly. I have issues with that. I'm not sure what it is. I have, like, really terrible depth perception, apparently. But at least now it's taken care of. Not a big deal there. You are just rushing along over here making these minecarts. Are you almost level 8 now? R. Kelly? R. Kelly, can you please stop and talk to me? Oh, you are almost at level 8. You know, at level 8, I think we're going to have him probably stop doing this for a while. And just have him start focusing on maybe some standard ingots. And also probably getting the um, new weapons up and running because I'm... Um, Scared about our next assault. There's got to be another assault pretty soon. We don't have that much gold, so hopefully... Or coin, I should say. But I wonder, too, if the... The, I guess, settlement wealth is based off more than just coin, right? It's got to probably be, like, you know, food and resources and things of that nature. So, you have to imagine that it's got to probably apply a few more things, too. But right now, we're kind of broke. We have, like, absolutely no coin left, so... Yeah, you'll be level 8 pretty, pretty soon. Deconstruct all this. Meanwhile... Alrighty, so that's looking pretty good over here. And once you're level 8, you start making some weapons for us, and we could just probably have you... Probably mine, too. I think mining is kind of really important in this game. It does seem that way. R. Kelly? Oh, that should be it. Level 8. Okay. Now what we do is deconstruct this, and... I would love to just cancel the sound over here. Cancel construction, cancel construction. And cancel construction. I'll probably... Eh, you know what? I don't think I even need these right now. I'll leave two just in case we need it for something immediately, but I don't think we will. Alrighty. You're back to farming over there. People are sleeping. And... No scary skeletons so far? None that I could see anyway. This is the, um... What I call this is the falcon eye. <laughs> just up in the skies, just overlooking everything that's going on. Doing a really bad job of it, but, you know, still trying my best. Okay. So food is up to 271. We just brought in a harvest right now. I'm happy about that. Speaking of which, how are our seeds going now? 48 carrot, 48 pumpkin, and 42 wheat. Good. Now that's good. I... We usually have a pretty good amount of seeds come in, but then we instantly waste them when we start making some more farming plots, obviously. So I'm not too crazy about that, but, you know, we want to keep our food supply up. And, you know, there's only so much boar that um, Fatal Extraction over here could actually kind of hunt for us. So, everything else is looking pretty good. Our storage is actually stored up here. Metals are stacked up completely. So, we need to start making some storage for our metals. Let's see here. Do all oh, for the minecarts. Interesting. Um, I guess the minecarts were useful after all. <laughs> Imagine that. Okay. Can I actually upgrade a pre-made uh, minecart? That's my other question. Because I, I I always forget about upgrading equipment or storage that already ex in existence here. Let's do that there. That there. So I guess we probably do need a few of these after all. Alrighty. So that's looking pretty good. How's our mining process coming along? Pretty, pretty good. 
a little bit awkward looking, but that's okay. You know, it doesn't have to be pretty. It just needs to get done. Get this um, copper over here, my friend. Get the copper. The copper's really important. Alrighty, and where did he go? Oh, you know what? He went, uh, my blacksmith ran off to sleep more than likely. Where is he at? There he is, our Kelly, asleep. Which is bad because we have no storage right now happening. For, uh, metal anyway. Our Kelly, alright, let me, I'll have you sleep, dog. Can you do me a solid? Just build one. I'm not sure if you have to grab timber first, but just build one if you can. That would be really ideal. I think you might need to grab timber though, huh? Yeah. Just grab one, dude. Just I just need one for now, and then you can go back to sleep, and everything's fine. You could give me one. I would give you one. <laughs> I would give you a lot, as a matter of fact. Yeah, grab it and come over here and make it. Hey, come over here and make it. Did you grab it? You have food. You were hungry. That's fine. Come over here and make this really quickly, dog. Just one. There you go. After that, you can go to sleep and everything's fine. You can just join everybody else who's asleep over here. This guy's in a rush to sleep, too. All right. So, wall is almost complete. And speaking of which, um, right now, when I took a break between um, episodes, um, I took a little break, got a little bit of coffee, cleared my head a little bit, too. Because, you know, you know, this whole Let's Play thing, it's, uh, it's a lot harder than it looks. You know, you just think it's just like, you know, a matter of just hanging out here, playing a game and talking. You, as a Let's Player, you kind of have to make sure that whatever you're talking about is going to be, you know, at least relatively either informative or entertaining to the audience. And I like to imagine that I'm not really too informative. Although there's been occasions where people have been like, oh, Falcon, because of you, so and so. And I'm like, you know what? Thank you. I'm not completely inept after all. But for the most part, I like to imagine at least you're having a good time. You're enjoying whatever I'm over here talking shit about. And, you know, that's your thing. That's my main goal, just to entertain people. So um, as long as you guys can be entertained, that's the um, important part. However, in doing that... You gotta also understand that sometimes that makes it really difficult to kind of completely concentrate what's happening in game because uh, half of my mind is focusing on what's happening on the screen. The other part of my mind is over here trying to focus on, you know, trying to keep some sort of relevant conversation happening so I'm not over here just quiet and not, you know, saying a damn word. Because if I'm not over here doing a damn thing or not saying a word, you could be playing the game for yourself and being like, you know, what? why should I listen to this guy? Or why should I watch this guy? I could just play the game. But I guess part of the whole thing is just, you know, trying to entertain you, whether it's, you know, by yelling at people like this guy, Dragon? Pump those legs, Dragon! Yeah, like that. See, I could just yell at him. <laughs> and some people like that, and some people are like, you know, Falcon, I really like the way you yell at people. And I'm like, you know what, dog? Thank you. That's just, that comes from many years of being bullied around as a kid. That really never happened. I was never really bullied. I'm not necessarily, you know, saying that, you know, bullying, bullying is bad. I mean, if you're a bully yourself, don't be a bully. It's, it's, it's a bad thing to do. But, um, yeah. What was I even talking about? I'm not sure how we got into the whole thing of bully. Um, psychopath, you can sleep if you want. Oh, you're actually, oh, you're, you're done sleeping. You just have nothing to do now. I get you. I mean, the fact that you're standing on your bed made me think, like, you know, is Silent, is Silent Psycho Bed confused? Is she, not, is she not sure if she wants to sleep or not? Uh, maybe I could warm you up some milk. That usually helps me sleep sometimes, too. I'm an insomniac, so believe me. I try everything. I try counting sheep. I tried warming up milk. Doesn't really work too often, but whatever. You know what works pretty good? Just getting pissed shit drunk and passing out. However, you don't really get a good rest that way. And if you're underage, don't do that. Don't get pissed shit drunk to pass out or fall asleep. Bad idea. Um, Silent Psychopath, you are, were, you were making, did you make the leather boots finally? I think you did, didn't you? Let me go to armor really quickly here. Yeah, we have two of them. Is there anything else you can make now, out of curiosity? Like, um, if we could get you up to level 9, you can make us some gambesons, which is, you know, light. Maybe more clot would be ideal too. I don't think you're level 9 just yet, but I think you're close to it. Maybe level 8? Let's see, level 7. Alrighty, let's think about making you level up a bit more. And in order to do that, we can use clot, which requires wool. One wool actually makes two clots, really. That's pretty good, then. Um, yeah, let's use wool. Let's uh, make um, seven clot is what we have. And how much do we need for this? We need five. So if we want to make at least two or three armor, we're looking at at least 15 clots. So let's go over here and we'll do um, seven, nine, 11, 13, 15. That would be exactly three. So yeah, go ahead and make that. And then I'll get back to you. And we'll see what's after that. But for now, just go make that one. Okay. And here comes uh, my farmer. Back to sleep. Good little harvest. Time to knock you out. Good for you. Minecarts are done. You didn't have to build all of them, by the way. You could have gone in slow shit, spider. Fatal extraction. Okay. I see the spider. Where is fatal extraction at, though? I don't... Oh, here he is. 
Alrighty, Fatal, you could probably take care of the spider without, um, you know, having to infantry up, right? Charge the enemy. Normally, the spider isn't that big of a deal. One hit was pretty much all it took. So, hey, good on you. <laughs> I like how he just stabbed the spider and went back to gathering berries. What a baller. Okay, thank you, my friend. Where are you at now? You're over here gathering more berries. Alrighty, good for you. Um, now, spiders don't... I'm not really sure how spiders fall into the whole equation as to if they're any threat more than just, you know, the occasional annoyance. They normally die even from one strike from a non-infantry unit without a weapon, mind you. He does have a knife, so maybe he's using a knife to stab it, but it doesn't really cause too much damage, and, um, it goes down pretty fast compared to the skeleton unit. So I wonder how that kind of plays out in the grand scheme of things here. Like, I wonder if there's, like, a bigger spider, or if there is a chance to kind of, um... If there is, like, a, a raid with a bunch of spiders, now that would be terrifying as all hell, especially for me because I'm kind of an arachnophobe. <laughs> I'm, you know, let's be honest here. I am a s scared of any fucking bug. I've talked about this before, I'm pretty sure, in other videos, if not the Timber and Stone series. But, yeah, bugs and me just don't get along. You know the only bugs I like? Ladybugs I'm okay with. I love ladybugs. And... Is that it? Ants I don't mind. Fire ants, fuck those. You know, I had an incident as a kid growing up with fire ants. You want to know the story? I'll tell you the story right now, since we're over here just kind of working in the background anyway. Let's have a little falcon story time. Fire ants. You know what? Fuck fire ants forever. Why? Well, I'll tell you why. Let me make sure these guys don't have to mine anything else before... Yeah, they kind of do. Let me set up this mining stuff, and we'll talk about um, ants right now. Fire ants, specifically. And yeah, let's bring this down through here. When I was a kid... <laughs> okay, gather around. Grandpa's over here talking again. Oh, well, when I was a kid. No, when I was a kid. Um, long time ago. It really was, honestly. It, it worries me, like, how fast time just flies by. If you guys are still young, like kids watching, enjoy your childhood. Have, like, the most fun you're going to have with it. Because, you know, once you grow up, all that childlike wonder just disappears completely. And you start, one, you start doing what I do, which is nostalgia. I'm a big nostalgia person. That's why my entire room is littered with action figures from my childhood. Fucking TMNT Turtles, uh, Batman figures. It's like a, a man-child cave, unfortunately. Because I, I remember, and I'm just like, man, it used to be so much fun not having any sort of responsibility. Again, I'm going off topic, though. Um, I was going to scare the shit out of my cousin. He lived, like, in his little, um, like, a block in this, like, you know, it was like a street blocks, right? It was just nothing but houses, right? And I ran ahead... I left the house before he did, and I was going to go down probably five houses into this driveway that had a car parked in the driveway. So I was going to hide behind a car, and when he walked by, I was going to just jump and scare the shit out of him because we used to like to do that, just scare each other completely. You know, probably cause each other, you know, heart problems down the line, but still, at the time, it was fun. <laughs> so I hide behind this truck, and he's coming down, and I'm just like, I'm going to scare the shit out of him. And I feel this weird sensation in my leg, my lower right leg maybe, from the knee down. I feel like this warm sensation, but I'm thinking to myself, it's probably just, um, numb because I'm over here crouching, waiting for this motherfucker to pass by who's taking a sweet time. And, you know, I bypass it. The sensation gets worse and worse, and I'm just like, what the fuck? Mind you, I'm probably like maybe nine years old, ten years old. I look down. My entire lower right leg, from my knee down to my ankle, my entire foot, honestly, was completely red. And I'm like, what the fuck? It is completely swamped in fire ants. And I just shit myself. I'm like, not literally, but I'm, I just freak out. I get up, I stand up, I start, you know, brushing my leg off. And I feel like my fingers start stinging because, you know, as I'm brushing them off, they're stinging my fingers too. Long story short, um, for the next three days, my entire lower right leg from the knee down to the ankle, which is completely swollen. And just like, kind of like, you know, imagine a callus. It was basically like an entire callus down my leg. Filled with like a little bit of liquid, which is I guess was the fire ant venom or just probably my own body trying to release something to kind of keep the pain from going down. But for three days, I am just like in my room, immobilized. And to that day, I fucking hate my cousin because of that. Because if that motherfucker would have hurried up, I would have probably not stood in that little fire ant hill. Of course, it's my fault for not paying attention where I was standing. But still, you motherfucker, next time you come out of your house faster, I have things to do, okay? Like scare the hell out of you. And there you go. That's why Falcon hates fire ants. I don't mind regular ants. Ants didn't really bother me. They kind of have this whole hive mind thing where they're just kind of in their own world. Ants, regular ants are fine. Ladybugs are fine. 
And you know what recently I've kind of taken a liking to? Slugs. Um, just like regular slugs, you know, the ones with the little, um, but, oh, not slugs, snails. Snails. I've taken a liking to snails just because every time I walk out to take my, I usually take like a daily jog. When I go out to take my daily jog, I see, um, let me put this in real time here. You guys need to mine a bit more? You do. This will be the next level that we mine out, so we'll come down through maybe here. <clears throat> Seems about right. Keep mining away. Good. Um, when I take my daily jog, every time when I'm walking to the, um, like, the, my apartment complex is kind of fenced in, so I have to go out of the fence to get out, right? And there's a little bit of a walkway that I have to take that's, like, you know, in between, like, some grassy-type fields. And I always see, not every time, but occasionally I see a snail just trying to get through the little... I guess, sidewalk passing from one grassy field to the other. And I always like run into snails and I'm just like, and they're so slow. And it makes me sad because I run into like instances where I see them crushed in the floor because people are walking. They don't even pay attention. They just suddenly step on a snail and boom, he's done. You need a pickaxe. Oh, we're out of pickaxes. Alrighty. Stone Mason, where are you at, my friend? We need you to go back to making stuff here. Who is my Stone Mason again? That's going to be... Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Carpenter? Stonemason, Mark Solar, who's mining. Perfect. So, Mark, you go back to making some pickaxes for us, my friend. Wherever you might be. This is Starcaster, so we can't mine until we get some more pickaxes. So, yeah, every time I walk by, occasionally I see a snail crush, and I'm just like, oh, he never had a chance. And I feel bad for them because they're so slow, and they don't even bother anybody. They're just trying to get from one grassy field to the other, but they're just so slow. It takes them like an entire fucking day almost. And, you know, people run, you know, walk by and crush them. And I'm just kind of like, oh, you never had a chance, dog. And it breaks my heart. So, you know what? Snails are okay on my book now. I'm not going to touch one, but I'm going to try to avoid stepping on them. So, you know, that's kind of like my mediation with snails. I'm, I'm cool. We're cool. <laughs> okay. That's all I wanted to get through. Either way, hey, you're down, you're back to making, hey, no, 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 you have to make stone picks, not bricks. Why are you even making bricks? Did we sell bricks? Huh, I guess we might have, like, at some point sold some bricks, because they're being made here for some reason. That's very interesting to me. Um, yeah, let's, um, not make bricks, dog. We need the, the, the tools to work. So let's drop this down to, like, I don't know, 150 now or something, just to get him off of it. Alrighty. How's our wall over here? Pretty good. Just about sealed up. At least from the front side. Which is pretty good. Alrighty. Yeah, get get off of that brick. Come make me the stone picks, my friend. So yeah, I, I, I'm aware this has been like fucking... Let's talk bugs with Falcon today for some reason, even though... But yeah, overall, fuck spiders, fuck bugs in general, minus ladybugs, snails, and regular ants. They're cool in my book. Keep that in mind. And with that, I'm gonna call an episode here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Just random shit that we talk about in this um, series, isn't it? Hopefully you guys enjoyed it at least. Hey, let me know in the comments. Do you feel the same way? Ladybugs? Snails? Or are you guys just against bugs completely? I know some people love bugs too, and that's, number one, terrifying. But you know what? If you actually are into bugs, then you know, you're a braver man or woman than I am. That's much is for sure. Because I see a crazy exotic bug, I am running the complete opposite direction. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like. I will catch you next time.